What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, DN Dual Commentary. Full match, as you guys can see, I'm playing Black Wings once again, playing against Dragon Rulers. My hand is absolutely atrocious. Uh, Dad, Blizzard, two dualities. Ugh. So he opens up with the seven star draw card. He's going to pitch Blaster, and he's obviously just going to get another free copy of Blaster. Or um, No, he searches out Flame Bell Guard, but anyways, he already has seven cards to my five, and then. My Blizzard and Dark Arm are completely dead turn one, so it's not looking really good for me. He pitches the Flame Veil Guard for two more cards, so it's like, this dude has so many damn cards, and my hand is awful. And um, two pod dualities, and your opening hand is really not good unless you have, like, Whirlwind or something like that to go along with it. <clears throat> he summons Redox, and he's going to pitch um, Tidal and Tempest. He's going to use title to get another title. I don't think that title can get anything but title in the entire deck. And then for Tempest, he's going to get Little Dragoonity Tuner Guy, whose name I'm not even going to learn because that shit is not important enough. All I know is that you synchro and that people search you for uh, Tempest and you're level one. All right, so my duality gets me Sirocco, no good. Blizzard, no good. And another duality. If I get another duality, I'll never, ever, ever summon Dark Arm or use Blizzard. So I guess the Bora is like the only legit option here. <clears throat> because I guess, you know, if it dies or whatever, I can use it for um for Blizzard. Anyways, I'm just going to set Torrential. I'm not going to commit anything to the board because uh, it doesn't really make sense. I do have the Max C, which is definitely going to help. <clears throat> And he plays Scapegoat in the end phase for some apparent reason. I think he's trying to use it with like Little Dragonity Tuner guy. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't, I, I don't know how I feel about Scapegoat in this deck. I kind of feel like maybe it's the defense of the deck. And then I guess it works with all the level 1 tuners that they have. So I guess that's like the main reason that they run it. He summons Little Dragonity guy. And um, I think I'm just going to hit him with Torrential. Because if not, he's going to make Formula Synchron. He's going to draw a bunch of cards. And then Formula Synchron would just make, uh, I don't know, like whatever level 5 or whatever that they summon. I don't want him to make any other further plays, so I'm just going to nip that in the butt and I'm going to hit him with Torrential. He still has 6 cards to my 5, and obviously he still can summon all his dragons, so clearly the advantage is in his favor. He pitches Debris for um, a couple of more cards, uh, cards of Constance, and he draws 2. He already used his normal summon, so he is completely dependent on his uh, special right now. And that's exactly what he does. He pitches title. He's just going to get another title. <clears throat> and um, he summons blaster. I think he's just going to hit me for 28. And I don't have anything that can stand up to a blaster right now. So obviously, I'm just looking at summoning something and then making blaster go back to his hand. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, by the way, this is also my first time playing a full match against the, um, the Dragon Ruler deck. Like, I mean, I read it. I read uh, some of the matches at the last YCS, so I kind of have a decent understanding how the deck works and whatnot, and I know it is a little different from last format, but I'm, I'm learning, I'm learning. I make tons of mistakes in this match, though. All right, so I hit Duality. I've got Allure, Sirocco, and Phoenix Chain. Apparently, my deck wants me to take a Sirocco because it keeps giving me them on Duality. Now, I take the Allure. Um, I play Allure, and I'm going to get rid of Blizzard, but I shouldn't have. I should have got rid of Dark on Dragon. I have no darts in my graveyard, and um, I don't know. I, just, I feel like I'm a little ways away. I think the reason that I kept the dark arm was because I had whirlwind. I was like, all right, well, whirlwind can build up my darks really quickly. So obviously, I'm summoning the whirlwind. I try to use uh, I try to use Bora to activate it, but then he MSTs it. So I'm like, fuck. Like, you know, the dark arm is like awful, awful now. If I would have kept the blizzard, you know, as soon as I would have Icarus something, I would have been able to drop blizzard. And then make, you know, at least another play. Like, I would have been able to go into, like, Armwing or Gaia Dragon or something like that. The Dark Arm is just sitting dead in my hand. I only have one potential Dark in the graveyard. And it's like, oh, God. You know, I'm not even sure I'll drop Dark Arm this game. Yeah. The Max C is, is really legit in my hand. Now, he pitches a Redox and a Dandelion. And this is the thing about this deck that I have to learn um, to start asking people anytime they discard or remove cards in their hand what the fuck they're doing because you know you got four different dragons they have a bunch of different weird effects and I don't know what the hell people are doing when they're trying to activate him. so you know I'm asking him what the hell are you trying to activate and he's trying to activate Redox's effect to summon Little Dragunity Guy so I'm obviously going to chain my Max C drawing the one off Little Dragunity Guy now Dandelion is mandatory so when he tries to summon the tokens or when he summons the tokens I'm going to draw another one so now I'm kind of piling up the advantage. I've got um, Shura. I have uh, Kalut. So 
you know, uh, it's looking even better if I would have kept my um, arm wing because I would have had arm wing, uh, or excuse me, if I would have kept my blizzard because I would have had a, a blizzard plus a Kalut to back up like an arm wing if I would have made it. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, dark arm still feels like it's a little ways away because sure it can be kind of slow to get into the graveyard. <clears throat> so I'm just looking at my graveyard. I'm looking at his graveyard. He summons blaster and I'm like, okay, that's cool. I'm just going to get another draw anyways and you know i'm kind of hoping that he'll summon formula because i don't feel like it puts him in that good of a position but it it puts me in a good position because i keep drawing cards and then he's going to get on uh, the bridge dragon off uh tempest i believe <clears throat> so he goes to attack and i'm not going to eat that attack i'm going to icarus him i'm going to get rid of a uh, dragonity guy and i'm going to get rid of um blaster you know dragonity guy only has 700 defense i should have got rid of a token like if he wanted to make formula fuck it i should have just let him make formula i mean i'm gonna draw right along with them <clears throat> and i would have been able to um to activate shura and i would have been able to get like a value or something like that off of it all right so he has three cards in his hand and he activates cards of uh or seven star draw card he's pitching redox i fucking hate seven star draw card like <sighs> that card he probably had an awful hand to be completely honest and that card just basically, it like reset his entire hand. He got another Redox, and then he got two more cards. So he summons um, the Bree Dragon, and I'm going to Fiendish Chain it. And I still feel pretty good because I've got, you know, Dark Arm plus Double Collude. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still feeling like I'm in a pretty decent position. It was really my inexperience against this deck that just crippled me because I make so many mistakes. And I'm starting to realize about the new Dragon deck they cannot fight through back row like they used to like you know i mean it's the best deck of the format right now i don't really know if that's gonna if it's gonna stay like it's not gonna be like it was last format where it just bowled through shit like you know decks like mermill and black wings can win ycs's right now like dragons are not strong enough to dominate this format and i've learned that after playing these decks uh, a bunch of times where it's like I constantly make mistakes and I'm still in the game. So anyways, he summons Saito. He's going to get or he's going to get rid of um his blaster, which means he's probably going to search another blaster. And I'm not sure if he's just going to attack or what. If he attacks, I'm just going to collude his ass, and that'll just be bad. <laughs> so he asked me if if that summon is good. <clears throat> and here's where the mistakes start to happen because I'm unfamiliar with the deck. He summons Star Eater, and, you know, I guess he's like, oh, well, you can't bottomless it, or whatever. And he goes to battle phase really quickly, and I didn't realize at the time, because you can see I'm reading Star Eater. Even though I did a video on the card, I haven't actually seen it in play yet, so this is my first time ever seeing it. I didn't even realize, like, hey, I could just I could just evac this shit as soon as he activates, uh, or as soon as he tries to enter battle phase, I can just evac it. That card is kind of a problem for this deck, because you can't collude it, you can't mirror force it. But you can still get around it with Icarus attack and evac. So I would say that is uh, mistake number one of the match. All right, so I'm going to summon Zephyros. I'm going to get rid of the token. <laughs> and um, I obviously know now <laughs> that I can evac it, and that is my game plan. I'm like, all right, well, if he tries to attack, now I'll just go to evac it. But the damage has kind of been done. I took 1,400 that I didn't need to take. And it ends up being, it ends up being important in this match. He's going to summon Card Trooper. He's going to pitch three Dark Hole, Dragonity Guy, and Maxi, which is a card that doesn't do anything against this deck anyway. So let's see. And now he's going to he's going to summon Tidal. He's going to remove Dragonity Guy and the Bree Dragon, two dragons. And he's going to enter battle phase. And this time, I'm having none of it. I'm like, all right, well, clearly now I know that the second you enter battle phase, I can just, I can, what's it called? I can evac you back to your hand. So. He tries to what's it called? Tries to have a little debate there. And he sends it to the graveyard instead of back to hand, and then he ends up blowing me up with Forgeki Break, and now he has 26 plus 19 to end the game. So you see that if I would have um, evacuated it when he dropped the Shura, even if he would have done that same exact play, I would have been able to survive it. Not to mention with the whole Zephyros plus um, Shura, I would have probably went into Master Key Beetle. I would have uh, been able to. Uh, put the Phoenix Chain back in my hand off the Zephyros. I just would have been in a much better position. So, yeah, inexperience kind of crippled me there. Okay, so um, I do still know what to side against the deck. I know that Iron Imperial Wall clearly shuts the deck down. Uh, Soul Drain is basically uh, just as good against the deck. So, uh, yeah, I'm citing out Veyu, citing out Book of Moon. 
Now, here's one thing that I need to learn, and I learned it during this match. When you side in Iron Imperial Wall, you definitely want to get rid of your cards for Black Feathers and Allure of Darkness. Probably even Dark Arm Dragon, too, because you can see I opened with Iron Imperial Wall, but I also have Dark Arm Dragon, and um, yeah, alright, so <laughs> I, I ended up flipping <laughs> Icarus Attack on his turn, but I meant to flip Iron Imperial Wall, so he has free information, and he's like, okay, I'll take the free information, and I'm like, alright, whatever, you know, motherfucker. He summons um, Clockumero Draco. I don't understand why they summon that shit against Black Wings. Like, Black Wings get over that. Black Wings fucking eat that card up for lunch. You got Gale. You have Kalu. You have Sorogo. You have so many ways to get over that shitty card. Like, I, I honestly don't understand why people are playing that card in the side deck of Dragon Rulers. Like, you know, against Black Wings? Nah. I mean, against other decks? Maybe. But against Black Wings, that card is ass. So, as you can see, I play um, Sorogo. Then uh, I'm searching off my Whirlwind, so I'm going to get my Shura. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to run over Quackimero Dragon. Honestly, at this point, I feel like I've already won the game. Unless he has an MST or a Royal Decree right here now, I feel like I, I pretty much won. And even if he does have Royal Decree, I do have Icarus Attack. So, you know, I mean, he can't remove anything. Can't really, he doesn't really have any big plays to do. All right, but anyways, he pops, um, he pops my What's It Called. He pops my Iron Wall with Blaster, but I know that he can't, if he removes those uh, Blasters, he's not going to be able to use them, so I feel like I'm in a pretty decent position. See, he summons the title, but it's like, alright, well, fuck you, you know, you can't use the, uh, you can't search off Blaster because you just use this effect. He's going to play uh, the Bree Dragon, and he has no targets, and I'm like, okay, clearly he's trying to go back to the well. This dude is trying to go back to Star Eater, and, you know, it's just... Like the experience from last mat or from the last game basically taught me that okay, Star Eater can be a problem, so we're not gonna let you draw a star or drop Star Eater. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna Icarus and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna uh I'm going to make sure that you can't drop the Star Eater. So yeah, I'm gonna try and hit his back row and his debris dragon. Uh I don't really care about what's it called. I don't really care about title. Like you can hit me for twenty six hundred. I have Shura plus Kalut, so I can get over. Um, I can get over that. So I'm not really. I, I don't really care that much. <clears throat> I'm thinking maybe I should have took out the back row plus uh, title and just left him with the Bree Dragon, because even if he makes Star Eater right now, I'll just run that shit over with Kalut. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so and this is why his last card was another Dragon Ruler, and now he gets to make Dracosac, and Dracosac obviously is a problem because he gets to blow up my Whirlwind for free. Yeah, he gets his two tokens. He's gonna launch a token, and he's gonna blow up my um, my whirlwind. So I'm kind of in a tight position now. I kind of felt like I put myself in that position though. But anyways, I summon Shura. I'm going to obviously get rid of one of the tokens. And the Solemn Warning was like it was a really good card to draw because it it gets me a quick one for one on the Draco set. If he tries to attack, I'll collude him, and as soon as he tries to get his tokens, I'll just play Solemn Warning, and I'll take the one for one. Although I'll lose a lot of life points though. But it's again, it's a play that I have to make. I'm not gonna lose my entire field to Draco Sat. So uh, he just ends up scooping it up right there. And let's see. I think I'm gonna side deck Dark Arm Dragon out because I've drawn it both games and I haven't been in a position to uh, to drop it. So in the future, that is probably something that I'll do. I'll start siding out Dark Arm Dragon um, again uh, when siding. I'll make sure that you know if you side in. Iron Imperial Wall, take out your allures, take out your cards for Black Feathers because you can't activate them if you draw um, or if you have Iron Imperial Wall face up. So I have a really good hand. I have Whirlwind, 2 Duality, uh, Bora, and Shura, but oh my god, you guys will see. I play this match so awfully. Like, and I'm not trying to take anything away from him, but it, it, this match makes me think that E Dragons is like so fucking overrated. Alright, so he's going to summon Redox. He pitches, what, Tidal and um, Tempest. He gets Dragoonity Guy, and he gets another copy of Tidal to put Redox in defense. You'll see You'll see how many misplays I made in this match. It's at least like 50. <laughs> he pitches uh, Dragoonity Guy for cards of consonants, so, you know, I'm kind of scared of him making first turn Dracosac and sitting on it, because that would be a problem. But he summons Card Trooper, and I guess he's just trying to get his graveyard loaded up, and he's going to pitch three. So, um, he, he has, I think all of his Dragonity guys are gone. I drew the Iron Imperial Wall, so I was like, great. That was puts me in a really good position. And 
Obviously, I'm going to activate one of my dualities. Now, I, I have Mirror Force. That's no good. Black Whirlwind and Iron Imperial Wall. Here is what I should have did. I took Iron Imperial Wall. I should not have. I should have took Whirlwind. I should have summoned Bora. And I should have searched like uh, two Kalutes. Or I should have searched Zephyros and a Kalut. I'm thinking two Kalutes. And what I should have done is I should have tried to end the game really, really quickly. I was trained. I was playing too passive. I was thinking, all right, well, what if something happens to my first Iron Imperial Wall? But I shouldn't have thought like that. I should have tried to push the tempo. I should have tried to push the speed of the game so uh, so fast and so up that basically by about turn two from my whirlwinds that I could have put so much damage on board knowing that the second I kill that card trooper, he's going to lose all his board presence because his redox is going to go back to his hand and that Iron Imperial Wall will stop him from basically summoning anything. <clears throat> so yeah. That was uh, my first big mistake. My second big mistake of this match was summoning Shura. I should have searched, um, I should have summoned Bora because the 100 attack difference, it, it's not, like, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? The Shura, can, the Shura can't trigger, so I should have searched, or I should have summoned Bora and um, I should have used the Double Whirlwind. And then in my second turn, I should have summoned Shura off Double Whirlwind and I should have searched a bunch of Boras. And that, that like, should have been basically my game ending push right there so anyways I'm gonna activate Iron Imperial Wall to basically try and uh, you know isolate his plays the only good thing about my position right now is if he has the MST or if he has Blaster which um, I think Blaster honestly got a little bit too much into my head is that he won't be able to to make any uh, follow-up plays because I'll just chain Iron Imperial Wall so he plays Dandelion, and I'm kind of right now scared of a, um, <laughs> I'm kind of scared of a, what do you call that motherfucker? A Debris Dragon play. I'm like, oh, fuck, if he Debris Dragons my field, I am so salty. But anyways, he just activates uh, Redox. He's going to get Dragoonity Guy. He's going to go for Formula Synchron, and he, I think he's going to go for the little, the level 3 uh, Synchro, which... To be honest, I didn't know what it did, so, you know, you guys can fault me on that. But this type of desperation play that he's doing right now, where he's trying to draw a bunch of cards and shit, this is exactly why I should have gotten two whirlwinds, because he can't put anything big on the board. Like, I would have been able to search so many Boras and Kalutes by turn two, I would have fucking ended the game. He was at 6,600, I would have had double Kalut, and I would have had double Bora next turn. Like, he, he would have he would have been a, in a position where I would have been able to win the game. Not to mention, you always have 800 more um, from Cowboy in the holster. Like, you've always had, you always have 800 more damage that you can use from Cowboy at any given time. So he summons Miss Bird, whatever the fuck this thing is. All I know is it, it cuts your guy to, like, zero. <clears throat> All right, so here's another mistake that I make. Um, what I think that I should have did was, I think that I should have special summoned... Um, What's it called? I think I should have special summoned the Bora. Um, normal summon the other Bora. And I think I should have tried to make Master Key Beetle trying to protect my, what's it called? Trying to protect my Iron Imperial Wall from like a blaster or something like that. But I play um, I play Pod Duality. Now I see Kalut, Blizzard. Obviously I already have a Kalut, so I don't want that. So I think I'm going to take the Phoenix Chain. Just in case um, he has like a debris dragon, I don't want to get my field lit up by a dark, uh, by a black rose. <clears throat> but I feel like I kind of needed this special summon this turn. The one reason that I think I played this way is because it doesn't really seem like he can do anything. You know, like he has the 2300 guy in his hand or on the field, but he can't really advance his position. So I kind of, I'm playing like, I'm playing way too conservatively. So anyways, I'm just going to summon my Bora. Knowing that I've got Kalut to back me up, I have a fiendish shame, but then bam, he hits me with fucking Royal Decree, and of course I have no Icarus attack. So, yeah, I have no response, and now he's free to summon all the little dragon guys he wants, and I'm in a very very bad position, especially if he has any more tuners, because if he has tuners, then he can drop something like Star Eater, he can Black Rose me, he has five cards still in his hand, he'll be able to use his graveyard as much as he wants. But uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. So he activates um, seven star draw card. He pitches title, which means that obviously he's gonna get another title from his deck. And um, his graveyard is set up like really nicely. At this point, I'm starting to like look at his graveyard and start trying to count, you know, his dragons, try to figure out where the hell they all are, 
and stuff like that. Like, you know, I'm trying to think, okay, what does he already use? What's in his hand? Yada, 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 this, yada, 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 that. He plays Miss Valley Bird, um, and he cuts my shore down to zero. I'm guessing that he's just trying to, um, he's trying to run it over with one of, like, his dragons or something like that. So, he summons Redox. He's going to remove Dragonity Tuner and Car Trooper. And I think that he's just trying to get it off the board. Now, that tells me right there that his hand must have been pretty shitty if he has Royal Decree, which is the, that's like the death of Black Wings. And this is the only play he's doing. He's going to attack over Ashura. Really? That's it? Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> this tells me if I would have went double whirlwind turn one, I definitely would have fucking ran this game out. Like, I would have completely ran him out the gym. <clears throat> All right. So anyways, I drew another Iron Imperial wall. So now I have three of them. So it's like, ugh. But I still have the Whirlwind. Whirlwind is like, it's always the, the saving grace of this deck. It's like, no matter how bad things get, as long as you have Whirlwind, you are not in a bad position. Now, what I was really thinking about doing here is I was thinking about summoning Zephyros, searching Gale, uh, special summoning Gale, and just torching the entire field. <clears throat> and then basically setting my Iron Imperial Wall and saying, okay, well, I have Zephyros, Iron Imperial Wall, I've got a Kalute, and I'll play that against your five cards. And hopefully you don't have a way to stop that. But um, he ends up having the fucking MST for the uh, the whirlwind, which means that if I want to get that, what's it called? If I want to get that roll to Creon off the board, that now I have to make um, fucking Diamond Direwolf, and I hate making that card. You know, I'd rather just blow up the entire field, get rid of his little 2300 uh, bitch guy, and basically start anew with the Iron Imperial Wall I have in my hand, rather than do this. So, yeah, you'll see some of the plays that I make here. And actually, <clears throat> this is going to be one of the biggest mistakes that I make. And you're going to see it. It pretty much cost me the game, too. So, I've, I've made, like, three or four huge mistakes here. I summon Diamond Direwolf. And, obviously, I'm looking to get that Royal Decree off board. I don't really care about his 2300 guy. So, I pop his Royal Decree with Diamond Direwolf. And I want some board presence. So, now I'm going to try and trigger um, Zephyros the Elite. So he played, or I summon Zephyros, and I'm going to set a card. So he tells me to hold on. He's going to chain DD Crow. Okay, here's the mistake, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> As you guys already know, I had yet another Iron Imperial Wall set that I should have just simply chained. Why? Because then I could have special summoned Bora, and I could have made um, Master Key Beetle, and I could have protected the Iron Imperial Wall, the second one, I would have had Iron Imperial Wall plus Master Key Beetle and Fiendish Chain, <clears throat> which means uh, the MST would have been able to kill it. I would have already had an over for his Miss Valley Bird thingamajiggy, and I would have been in a really, really good position. You know. All right, so let's see what happens. He MSTs my um, Iron Imperial Wall, but I can obviously chain yet another Iron Imperial Wall, and. Uh, he just passed his turn. Even if I didn't make what's it called? Even if I didn't make um what's it uh even if I didn't make Master Key Beetle, I could have just left my two black wings on board and still been in a really good spot. <clears throat> and again, I drew Allure of Darkness, which is this is the reason why you side out Allure of Darkness and cards for black feathers, because if you have Iron Imperial Wall, it's just a dead card. He plays a Regeki Break, obviously trying to target my Iron Imperial Wall, and I play the third Iron Imperial Wall. So now he's got to be like, God damn. All right. Now, I know you guys probably thought I was done with the mistakes. Nope, I'm not done with the mistakes. Right here, I should have just went ahead and attacked over um, little Miss Valley Bird thing, knowing that he only has three cards and he can't summon anything else. So he would have needed a card trooper or a debris dragon to get over my Shura, my 1700 Shura. And I don't know why I didn't just do that. Like, it looks like he's really, really struggling right now. But I, I basically let that card stall for him, and I shouldn't have. He draws Dragon Ravine. I would kill for an Icarus attack, just putting it out there. I would fucking kill for an Icarus attack anyways. <laughs> All right, so he plays, um, what's it called? He plays Dragon Ravine. Now, I'm thinking that he's going to try and pitch for, um, I'm thinking that he's trying to, that he's trying to pitch for Debris Dragon, because obviously Debris Dragon would, uh, would give him the ability to torch the field, you know, because I think that he still has a level three in there. I'm pretty sure he has like a card trooper or some shit in there, <clears throat> but he's just, he's like banking. He just plays, he doesn't actually, I'm not even sure if he activates his uh, Dragon's Ravine this turn, but um, 
Yeah, he just he activates it. I think he was trying to see if I was going to um, Icarus attack him or something. I end up drawing the Icarus attack, which was good. And then I set my Allure of Darkness kind of just as a bluff. And this is where things just continue to go downhill. He activates, uh, what's it called? He top decks the Blaster, getting rid of my last Iron Imperial Wall. And now, of course, it's open season. I burned through all three of my Iron Imperial Walls. And um, he got, man, he has to have at least five or six dragons in his graveyard. So, I mean, dude can make as many Draco sacks as he want. Like, look at his graveyard. It's fucking super loaded up. Not to mention, he still has probably at least another to bring his, uh, his graveyard. Now, he activates Ravine to use Foolish Burial. And that's the only reason why I didn't immediately Icarus attack him. Which, mm, yeah, you know what? I think I'm, I think I'm okay with that. Actually, no. When I looked at his graveyard, now that I realize that he doesn't have Tempest in there, I should have just, uh, I should have just Icarus attacked him. I should have took out um, his little uh, his Dragonity guy plus uh, Dragon's Ravine because he's trying to get his graveyard to where he can activate all his drag, or at least he can activate two dragons, and then he can still just search a bunch of dragons and be in a good position for next turn. So he activates Miss Valley Bird, and he's going to cut my Borda down. And uh, I think, I'm probably thinking that he's probably going to try and summon Tempest or Tidal or something like that. And he's going to try and run something over. So yeah, he's going into his deck. Yeah, he summons Tidal. And do 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 Yeah, he's going to try and summon Tempest. He's probably going to remove a Blaster if he has any in there. No, no, no. He, what's it called? He, he, he removed uh, Tempest for, what's it called? For um, the title, and now he's gonna uh, he's gonna search for debris dragon. He runs my my uh, my Bora over. I have no fucking idea why I did not Icarus attack. Like I am an idiot. But anyways, now I'm just I'm at this point I'm mind fucked. <laughs> I could have I felt like I could have I could have won this game like three times over, and now I'm just mind fucked. So anyways, he summons debris dragon, and I'm guessing that he's looking for dandelion. He's, I guess he's trying to get rid of all my back row. And the, th the problem is, he still has that level 3 guy on the field. So he can still, he can still what's it called? He can still make a level 7 anyways. Now, I Phoenix chain that. I should have just let him nuke the field. If he wanted to nuke the field that bad, I should have just let him. Like, the only thing I still have on the field that's decent would obviously be uh, Allure of Darkness. But it doesn't matter. What I didn't realize at the time was he still has two level seven. So the dude can still make Draco sack and pick my cards apart. You know, and I'd rather honestly I'd rather just have him have a clean field than have a Draco sack at this point. But anyways, he makes the Draco sack, he's gonna detach, he's gonna get two cards, and then he's gonna pop one of my face downs knowing that the Fiendish chains are irrelevant. I've already used Zephyros. He gets rid of my Allure of Darkness, so now my Kalute is just sitting there looking stupid. Uh -uh. <clears throat> I have two Kalutes which aren't very helpful. So obviously I'm going to summon a Kalute. I'm gonna get rid of the token. And now I'm in a position to where I have to think, do I want to Icarus attack him? The problem is, even if I get rid of Draco Sack and uh, Dragon's Ravine, the dude has so many dragons in his graveyard, what's stopping him from making another Draco Sack next turn? So this is where I basically in a losing position because I know he can at least make you know, two more, he can at least summon two more dragons just with his graveyard. So I'm just going to use Icarus Attack. I'm playing like straight desperation right now. I hit his face down, which is probably nothing. It is, a, yeah, a seven star draw card. You know, it's, they, they bluff too because they don't play Gores. And I take 2600 directly. And now I'm just in a position to where I can't win. You know, I can't get rid of Draco Sack. He still has another face down, so I scoop it up. So guys, yeah, um, uh, this is my first time playing against dragons, and I'm still learning, but uh, yeah, you'll see in the future that I play a lot better. Thank you guys for watching, as always, and take care.